Hey Ice Flyers Nation, welcome back to another episode of Ice Flyers All Access. Today, we got to catch up with number 12, Stephen Leonard, as we talked about his hockey journey and a special connection he has to our nation's military. So Stephen, this is your first season in Pensacola. Kind of bring us through that experience. What's it been like for you? So far, it's, it's been amazing. Everything from uh, living here in Florida, right by the beach, to coming to the rink with the guys, to the professionalism by all the staff. So. It checks all the pro boxes for a uh, minor pro hockey team and city to be a part of. Well, speaking of uh, Florida, you grew up in, in New York City yep. and everything. Can you kind of take us through that, uh, that journey, your hockey journey? Yeah, so I was born, uh, I was raised in Queens, New York, and my twin brother and myself were kind of born right into the game. We had two older brothers that played, so we didn't really know any better. <laughs> so our, our life was pretty much hockey since two, three years old. and. We started skating at a, a rink called Abe Stark in Brooklyn, New York, and then kind of bounced around youth organizations throughout Long Island and uh, Jersey as well. And then um, a place called Aviator in Brooklyn opened up when I was about in seventh grade. And the, the coaches and staff there I still have a great relationship with, and they really, um, I guess, had the biggest influence on, on myself and my brother throughout our hockey journey to kind of get us where we are today. Uh, going through and, and, and getting to know you, we, we know you have a special tattoo on yeah. your on your arm that says Clem, yeah. and it's in honor of your grandfather, uh, Clement O'Connor, yes, who served in the Army during the Korean War, mm -hmm. correct? Um, so can you just kind of take us through kind of your connection with him and, and, and all that? Yeah, so growing up in, in New York, both, uh, both my parents worked full time, so someone kind of had to watch the kids, and at that point my grandfather was retired from uh, military and working for the U.S. Post Office, so he lived about 15, 20 minutes from us, so first thing in the morning he'd jump on the bus and take it down to Rockaway Beach where we lived, and he'd wake us up, have breakfast, take us to school, and we'd get home, we'd hang out with him, he'd make us dinner, and then by then my parents will be home. So he passed away when I was about 16, and it's something, you know, me and all my brothers really have a strong bond with him, and we all looked up to him, and, and he had a huge influence on all of our lives, so I don't know if I could show this yeah. here, but... Yeah, it says Clem there, so he had his name tattooed there. And when he passed, before you know, we all kind of went on doing our own things. We got together and got a tattoo in honor of him. So it's actually my only one. So me and my twin brother have <laughs> identical tattoos. So one of us needs to get another one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he did a lot for us growing up. And the older you get, you realize not everyone has grandparents um, that have such a prominent role in their lives. So the older I get, the more I appreciate him and, and wish I could, you know, get to hang out with him today. But I know he's with me, so. Thank you, Steven. And fans, remember you can catch all the exclusive content right here on Ice Flyers All Access.